Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021, and we're on day 167 of the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. When you hop on this morning, please tell me good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. I'm having an intermittent fasting day today, and I've had two intermittent fasting days this week already. Um, well, Daisy came up like she wanted me to pick her up. She has to have her teeth cleaned today. She hasn't eaten yet this morning. She's trying to get my attention to go feed her, but I can't because she's having uh, to be put to sleep to have that dental work done. So let me just tell y'all about yesterday. I wanted to eat all day yesterday, all day. And it started immediately after breakfast. Now, not every day is like this, but some days are, and we have to decide if we're going to power through or not. So, I'll say good morning to people and then tell the story. Hey, Amy from Ohio, having a perfect day. Good morning, Ron from Lilburn on a perfect day. Good morning, Marla. Hey, Angela, good morning. Good morning, Angie from Tallapoosa, Georgia. Good morning. Uh, whenever I think at Tallapoosa, I think exit five. <laughs> because when I'm driving back from Alabama, it says exit five. Christine is having an IMF day in Rockmark, Georgia. And down two pounds, that's awesome. That is so awesome. And I am down two pounds from the way, the what I weighed on Monday morning. So I'm excited about that. Good morning, Dana from Madison, Georgia. Hey, Charlene from Michigan, having a Mighty Muffin Wow Challenge. Good morning, Julie from Indiana, having a perfect day. Good morning, Gina. She's having a planned holiday today. She's doing Father's Day early. Well, awesome. You enjoy that. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. I've been getting some sun, so it's a, I'm able to wear these types of tops now. Um, thank you so much. So, good morning, Tanya from Dawsonville. Glad that you're here with us this morning. Okay, so let me tell you the story of yesterday. Yesterday, I had a mug cake, a health-wise, high-protein mug cake for breakfast. By the way, if you've never had the chocolate caramel one, you need to get that one. It was absolutely delicious. We do not carry these in the Kennesaw store. This is only bought online. So if you order $30 or more, you can have it shipped wherever you want to in the continental United States. Okay, but just know that... Oh my goodness, Michelle! Good morning. Listen to what Michelle said. She's headed home from her work annual convention and she had a great surprise yesterday and ran into Travis Martin yesterday. That's fabulous. Wow, Michelle. What a what a surprise. I'll have to hear that story. Um, Christine, I might do holiday tonight for a birthday. Christine, you might do a holiday tonight. How many perfect days have you had in a row? Because I think, haven't you had like more than a year in a row? Are you contemplating a holiday? Let me know. Okay, so the mug cakes, they aren't sold in Kennesaw. So if I'm, if, if you live in Kennesaw and I'm telling this story, you can just order them online and have them ship to you. But the, I haven't enjoyed all the flavors. I can't remember which ones I did and didn't like, y'all. And everybody likes different things anyway. But the chocolate caramel one was absolutely delicious. So I ate that yesterday with eight ounces of Kroger Carb Master milk. And that made what uh, we call a perfect pairing. So I had that yesterday. I got in the car to go to drive around and deliver some things. And all I could think about was food while I was in the car. Okay, so I had I had taken two waters with me. I had taken a HealthWise energy drink with me. It's just the little packets. It's like Spark, but it's the HealthWise brand. And I put that in a water. So all that's riding with me up front. I had a oatmeal protein pie. I put it in the trunk, okay? I, I'd already felt like, oh, something's going on. I put it in the trunk. And so I, I drive around, do what I got to do. I mean, it's 9.30 in the morning. I'm going, when do I eat? When do I eat? Okay, I was going to a luncheon, so I knew I was going to eat at noon. I was like, when, when am I eating? 10 o'clock comes. I'm like, golly, it's two more hours. And I look at the clock again. It's 10.30. I'm like, man, another hour and a half. And of course, 
praise the Lord that the oatmeal protein pie had been put in the trunk. I thought about food constantly. I get to the place where I am, where I'm going, and I go over there and they have these box lunches. Well, see, box lunches aren't always that great. Um, so they had a, a vegetarian one, they had a roast beef one, and they had a chicken one. Well, I opened up the box and it was a beautiful sandwich. Of course, I'm not eating the bread. Um, there was bacon on it. I wasn't eating the bacon. The They had chicken, like chicken breast on there and, and a little slice, a thin slice of cheese. And so then they had an orange and then they had chips and then they had cookies and then they had Jolly Rancher. I mean, all kinds of stuff in there. Of course, I closed the box and I pushed it to the front of my, of my seat because I'm not eating it. And I ate my oatmeal protein pie because, and, and I've learned this, I could have just eaten the chicken out of there, but that would not have satisfied me mentally and it would have been irritating. So I ate my oatmeal protein, protein pie, which does. Now I think there's a difference in me eating the oatmeal protein pie that's the original flavor versus the blueberry flavor. So I had blueberry flavor yesterday. The original flavor, I don't know, there's something that hits in my, um, in my mind that says, yep, that was good. The blueberry is good and it should be able to hold me off. But anyway, I finished this luncheon thing and I get in the car and I'm making some more deliveries. Boom, all I can think about, and I had taken that box lunch with me because I was gonna take it to Tim. Because he, he liked this box lunch the last time I brought it home, he took it to work with him the next day. So I was going to take it to Tim, and it's sitting there, and literally, my stomach is growling, and I'm thinking, what is going on? Why? What is going on? Well, so I reached into the box, and I broke open the sandwich, and I ate the chicken breast out of there, which I'm sure was less than 200 calories, and so that's basically a snack. So I had that as a snack. The rest of the stuff in there does not tempt me. The orange doesn't tempt me. The Jolly Rancher, the cookie, the chips, none of that tempts me. But I ate what I could eat because I've gotten really good over two years of thinking, what can I have? I got to think about the things I can have, not the things I can't have. So I didn't eat. Once I ate that chicken, I was still thinking about food, but I didn't want what was in that box. So I do all this driving around and everything. I get home and I eat two bags of HealthWise protein chips. So, which is a meal replacement. And then I had a sixth of a chocolate bar, which was an extra. At that point, boom, I'm done, cut off, no more for the day. And I thought about food the whole rest of the evening and I wanted to eat, but I didn't. I didn't eat. Um, I, I ate what was approved. I ate what was stayed in the, in the middle of the lifestyle. I was extremely tired yesterday too. In fact, when I woke up yesterday morning to go do my Bible study, I went over there and sat in that area and I just sat there. I didn't even turn on the lights. My husband wakes up, he says, why are you just sitting there in the dark? I said, I am so tired. So I think I had just been going, 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 going so much and I was getting back into EFB the day before and maybe that just took it out of me. I don't know. I Yesterday, I didn't even feel like doing stretches. And to me, I don't know if y'all know me yet, but I like to do what I have said I was going to do. And in my mind, I had said I was going to do stretches every day. I just couldn't even make myself do it. So I had to actually coach myself in this way. It's okay not to do these things today. Take the rest that your body is telling you to take. You've done really good in sticking with the Shibboleth lifestyle today, even though it was hard. You take that physical, you take that physical rest that you need and, um, and let that be. So I had to coach myself on that. So I'm really excited this morning. I, I weighed 130, I weighed 140. I weighed 140 on Monday morning and now I weigh 137.5. So it was a little bit hard um, to do, but it, I did it. And one of the things that this morning I wrote this down and then I thought, I'm there back, I'm making the bed this morning. And I thought, okay, why is it, why is it that I seem to be able to get through these days like this when there's other people who, who don't or can't or won't? I'm not sure which one of those words it is, but how come? And 
And, and so I think a lot of these things, but not all of the thoughts that I give to you all are strung together. It's like, then I'm making the bed and then I'm doing something else and then a new thought pops in. So y'all just get them all strung together when they're really not. So I'm sitting there making the bed and what runs across my mind is this. I put a high priority on being slim and trim and feeling good and being healthy and not worrying about whether or not my clothes are going to fit. I put a high priority on that. And so I thought, but well, 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 don't other people put a high priority on that? I mean, you know what? Why? Why didn't I not make it through that day? Now, there's some days I don't make it through, but I'm just teaching a lesson today because I did make it through. And so I thought, why is that? And I don't really know what causes some people to not utilize their why to its fullest. Have you ever made notes like things you're going to do during the day and then you never get to it? And you just, you made the note because that was like a, oh, I wish I could do that. But then you never do it. I think some people write their why like that. That they think in their mind, in their heart, that they want to do something, but they don't get up the, the gumption to do it. To actually make that why come to fruition. So I just want y'all to think about that today. Write your why and really let it be a part of what motivates you. Because if you just write your why just to get it done and really to not pay attention of it, uh, pay attention to it, then you need to rewrite the why, put it all over the place, put it on note cards. You gotta do something. We are trying to overcome something pretty darn powerful like food addiction. Okay, and I've never wanted to claim that I was addicted to food, but after some of the things that happened to me, I go, well, dang, you know, if you think about it all the time, maybe you are, maybe you are. So all I know now is I have the guidelines to live by. I can have holidays on the days that I want them. See, yesterday, I did not want yesterday to be a holiday. So I had to let that desire overpower my physical desire. Because I've got three holidays at the end of the month I want to have, and i got two more somewhere else. Well, maybe I want to have one on Father's Day coming up. Well, there's one, and then I'd have one more. Well, my favorite restaurant, Rafferty's, is... Get out of here, Daisy. Get here. She needs a... My favorite restaurant, restaurant in Kennesaw, Rafferty's, is going out of business. So I think I want to save a holiday for that to eat the chicken salad on croissants. So there's things I've got planned. And yesterday, if I had given in to a nothing, a nothing day, a no reason to have a holiday day, if I had given in to that, Father's Day would have been out or eating at Rafferty's to say bye to Jason and Rafferty's. That would have been out. My three possible holidays at the end of the month, they would have been gone. So I used the management system that Shibboleth is to make sure that I did that. Okay, let's see. I... I've got to take Daisy to run up to, she's getting her teeth cleaned today, so they need her in about five minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm glad I don't live but a mile away. I'm going to not read all these comments until later, but I want to do the devotional today because it's good. It's really good. Colossians 3.16, let the message about Christ, y'all listen to this, this is so good. Let the message about Christ in all of its richness fill your lives. Fill your lives with the message of Christ and all of its richness. Let's not fill our lives with the richness of desserts, the richness of savory, salty foods, those richnesses. Let's fill our lives with the message of Christ. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. So let's, let's do that instead of giving in. Okay, this is going to be really great. A while back, I made a solemn vow. Okay, and this is by Craig Groeschel, Winning the War in the Mind, Day 3 from the Bible Version app, if y'all want to follow along with me on your own. A while back, I made a solemn vow that I would stop obsessing over texts and emails. I decided that any time I heard the bing indicating I had received a message, I would not feel the urgency to check immediately. And when I did, I would not reread and reread what the other person wrote. I would then not rewrite and rewrite my response. 
My digital resolution lasted, well, honestly, I don't think I ever stopped obsessing over texts and emails. Not only did my vow not last, I didn't even start. How many of you have done that? The problem with how we attack our problems is that we go after the problem. We focus solely on the behavior by making a commitment to stop or start doing something. You've done this too, right? You've decided, perhaps even declared, that you were going to change. This year, I'm going to eat healthily and exercise every day. I'm going to stop dating anyone who is mean to me. In fact, I'm not going to date at all. I'm tired of wasting my time on social media and comparing my life with everyone else's. I'm getting off for good this time. I'm not going to exaggerate or lie or gossip to get attention to feel better about myself. No more. I'm going to read the Bible every morning this whole year. Whatever your vow was, how did it go? I would guess not well. Why? Behavior modification doesn't work because the focus is only on modifying the behavior. You don't get to the root of the problem, which is the thought that produces the behavior. To be more specific, the problem is the neural pathway that leads to the behavior. Let's say you hate an ugly tree in your yard. You want that tree gone. Finally, you decide the time has come to take care of the problem. So you march into your, your yard with a small handsaw. You pick, up a, you pick an ugly branch and cut it off the tree. You smile and walk back into the house triumphantly singing a medley of all I do is win <laughs> and another one bites the dust. The next day, you are shocked to see that the tree is still standing strong. As you stare out the window, you could also sw almost swear it's smirking at you. I know, the analogy is absurd. You would never try to kill a tree by just removing a branch because the branch obviously isn't the problem. The tree is the problem. Actually, the root system of the tree is the main culprit. If you don't remove the root system when you cut down the tree, it could still grow back. Well, if we decide I'm going to stop yelling at my kids or I'm going to stop isolating myself and living a lonely life, or I'm going to exercise every day. We're just sawing off a branch. We are ignoring the real problem of the lie that we believe and the mental rut we fall into, attacking only symptoms, not the source. Thinking I can change a behavior just by removing the behavior is absurd. The behavior isn't the root problem. The neural pathway that leads me to the behavior is the problem. If I stop a behavior, it will come back unless I remove the lie at the root of the behavior. N replace the neural pathway that leads me to the behavior. Where will we get these new thoughts? Where are we gonna get these new thoughts to replace the lies and replace the neural pathway? Hint, we won't get them scrolling through social media posts, listening to our favorite playlist, or phoning a friend for their opinion. To stop the lies, we replace them with the truth. We need to look to God's word. That's what Jesus did when Satan, Satan tempted him. Jesus couldn't whip out his iPhone and open up the YouVersion Bible app to search for a verse that might help. He had already internalized truths from God's word that helped create a neural pathway. When tempted, Jesus followed that path, leading him to obedience and freedom. And that's what we need to do. So, Let's go back right up here. Remove the lie. Can I just say that identifying the lies is actually really important. So as you go throughout the day, identify lies, put them in your journal, and then you start working on replacing the neural pathway that is the truth of that. The truth is gonna come from the Bible. Use your little journal, the notes part in your journal for that, okay? That would be so good. Do you know that we have a blog section on our website? That actually might even be best, the blog section. But this is work. This is work in doing this. But you know what's not work? Do you know why we scroll through social media, listen to our favorite playlist, or phoning a friend? Because that's like putting a pacifier in our mouth. That's what those things are. So this other stuff, the valuable things, is coming in work. That other stuff is pacifying ourselves. We pass our, pacify ourselves with food, too. So let's just work on this. I want us to work on changing these things because... 
we got to change behaviors, yes, and we use the Shibboleth lifestyle to help us guide through that, but those that have that, that relapse or have other problems going on, we got to fix the root of the problem, all right? So I'm going to hop off because i got to get Daisy up there, but y'all have a great day. Please go ahead and journal, and then if you're watching on replay, and if it's the afternoon, put that down. You're having a perfect day, and then Type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Bye, everybody.